Hey, Pat Rigsby here, and I want to talk about what your problem actually is. Let's get to it. Welcome to the Fitness Business School podcast, the show for fitness business owners who want to grow their income, increase their impact, and improve their lifestyle. Be sure to listen till the end of this episode because we have a brand new special offer exclusive for listeners. So stay tuned. I would say that most of the time when somebody initially connects with me through maybe they opt into an email list, maybe they join Virtual Fitness Mastermind, maybe they buy a product, come to a workshop, maybe they hear me speak at Perform Better. When I ask them what their challenge or problem is, Almost invariably, if they're an early or intermediate stage business, they will tell me their problem is that they need more leads. And I'm not going to argue with them in the moment. I'm not going to dispute them because I don't think that arguing with somebody at the beginning of a conversation is a great way to further that relationship. But as I get to know them, Almost without exception, the challenge that they're facing, the biggest challenge that they have isn't a lead acquisition problem, it's a lead conversion problem. They have access to plenty of people. They're just not converting enough of those people. And if they went and got more leads, then it would just magnify the lead conversion issue that they have. Because if you go get a hundred new leads and none of them convert, then you're going to say it's a lead quality thing. It's I'm getting tire kickers. The ad agency I'm paying is getting a bad quality of lead. When you've not tested something to make sure that it converts, you've not got a strong offer. You've not put together something compelling whether it's an offer or a, a, a process to introduce that offer and get somebody to actually be aware of it, give it the attention it needs to make an informed decision. And usually you would be better off saying, okay, let's start from the end. Let's start from what we actually want the outcome to be, which is getting a new client, right? We're not in business. We're not in the business of just getting leads. We're in the business of serving clients. So we need clients to serve. So if we work one step out from there, we need an offer. We need a conversion process. And those are two different things, right? We need an offer to get somebody to convert. And then we need to convert them from prospect to client. So we need to optimize those things before we fill our pipeline with more leads because otherwise the lead side of this just becomes an expense and it's money we're kind of throwing away because we don't have a solid and predictable way to turn those leads into paying clients that are a good fit for our business. So if you're not getting the business you want, it doesn't mean that you wouldn't benefit from having more leads. It's just you're solving the wrong problem. It's not the problem you got to solve first. You got to figure out how do I get something that's strong and compelling to the people that I do have access to, the people that I do reach. And if you think you don't have enough leads, go to your cell phone, go to your personal email, go to your social media page, Go to your unconverted lead list or your current database and start to explore the offers that you can put in front of them. Test things, validate some, validate an offer and get a few buyers, get a few people to say yes before you start trying to just get more people in the pipeline. Make sure that the things that you're going to put in front of your leads are essentially making a great impression. We want to do what I would call putting our best foot forward or, or introducing people to our greatest hits. And then we're going to be much, much better off. So if you want to build a better business and things are slow, sure, maybe the lead piece of it's an issue, but almost always, like 90 plus percent of the time, 
the lead conversion problem is the most important problem to solve. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Fitness Business School. Before you go, I have a quick announcement. One of the things that we've been doing with our current clients is taking them through this ideal business diagnostic. And really what it is, this checklist that allows you to pinpoint exactly what your business needs next so you can keep improving, keep growing, and build a business that you love to own. One that pays you well, well, one that allows you to have the impact you want to have, and one that allows you to have a lifestyle that you truly enjoy. In this diagnostic, we walk through everything and we do an evaluation and can instantly pinpoint what you need to do next to build that business that you want. I'm going to extend this opportunity to get on with either me or my team and take you through this evaluation and fix your business's most vital needs fast. So if we take you through this, you're gonna be able to make those vital changes that you need to finally have what I call your ideal business. If you'd be interested in going through this entirely free, risk-free diagnostic with us and learn what you already have in place, what you're doing well, and where your greatest opportunities for rapid improvement are, just shoot me an email with diagnostic in the subject line to pat at patrigsby.com. Again, an email to pat at patrigsby.com with diagnostic in the subject line will get you scheduled and take you through this evaluation to help you build the business you want.